If you only have about a year of experience and the job's willing to pay you $500,000, most likely that's too good to be true. Hello, hello, and welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna actually go over something really cool. It's how to actually spot a fake recruiter with all the recruiters out there. And if you're as excited as I am to get into this video, feel free to support our real recruiter. Give us a like, subscribe, click that bell, and also cop yourself some awesome merch to attract customers, clients, and candidates to your business and to your desk. Let's get started. If you're watching this for the first time, welcome, my name is Preston. I basically started my recruiting career at a nationwide US staffing agency in about 2014, 2015. Quickly became one of the top producers out of 300 recruiters. Was able to bill over half a million dollars on my own desk, surpassing $100,000 per month in my first year. And then in 2015, I decided to bet against myself, start my own agency and do it all over again. And thankful to say from that time till now, we've done over multiple seven figures worth of placements. Let's get into this. Now, before I go into this, just wanna give a quick FYI, everything I'm about to share in this video is based on my own personal opinions and beliefs. If it helps, great, if it doesn't, that's totally fine too. My only intention is to share this with you, educate, give you value, and hopefully one day we can possibly work together. So let's get into this video. So there's been a notice rise in job scams that specifically target job seekers. Unfortunately, these scams that we're seeing basically have led to significant financial losses, identity theft, and emotional distress for individuals seeking employment opportunities. So in today's video, we're going to shed some light on the issues with job scams, provide insights into identifying fake recruiters, and offer actionable tips to safeguard against fraudulent activities in the recruitment process. So as I said before, there is a growing problem of job scams. According to the New York Department of State website, the number of reported scams related to business and job opportunities have increased significantly with the FTC reporting a quadruple number from 2018 to 2022. Approximately 14 million people in the US and Canada are exposed to scams every single year. And recruitment frauds account for $2 billion in direct losses annually with individuals that fall prey to scammers losing an average of $1,000 $1,500. Job scams rose 250% in Q1 2023, nearly tripled compared to the same period in 2022. And most common age group scammers unfortunately fall between 18 to 34 year olds. A lot of the statistics hats off to Cover Solutions for giving really great insights into exactly what's happening. Now, what are some of the common tactics used by scammers if you're wondering? Number one, requesting personal information upfront. What do we mean by that? If a recruiter asks for money upfront or insists on obtaining personal information that isn't part of the regular interview process that you're used to that is not relevant to the job application, for example, like bank account details, credit card information, social security cards, it could be a strong indicator of a potential scam or a red flag. Other common tactics are offering jobs without proper interviews, right? Recruiters who avoid traditional interview methods and insist on conducting interviews exclusively through text or emails, maybe attempting to possibly hide the true identity or bypass standard hiring process. So coming from a real recruiter, I would wish we get to a point where we could do interviews through texts or emails, but unfortunately we are not there. Most interviews today will either be in person or virtual or a combination of both. And if they don't consist any of these things, make sure that you keep your eye on your back. A third common tactic is what we call using vague job descriptions. Not all vague job descriptions are gonna be scams. I do wanna preface that. But there is also just a few job details. For example, I would emphasize maybe no experience necessary or they offer a high pay rate over telling you the actual job responsibilities or the pay by the hour is not gonna be connected or correlated to the years of experience. Some things just make no sense or just need a lot more questions or clarifications. Also, there are ones with even really bad typos, grammatical issues, or bad sentence structures. All these things could be another reason to be a massive red flag and for you to simply walk away or take a pause. Did you just start your own recruitment agency and are struggling getting your own clients? Are you thinking about starting your own agency but afraid to make the jump? Do you have your own clients but you're struggling to find the perfect cans fast? Do you have a full-time job and want to do recruitment part-time to make more money on the side and have no idea how to? If you answered yes to any of these questions, please consider joining our private community. It is a trust-based community where recruiters around the world can support, collaborative, and work together on placements all around the year consistently. In this community, you will directly have access to the real open jobs of my team and of our members. And you will also have the chance to access trainings, events, giveaways, and much, much more. If you are part of this community, I communicate and work with you as if you were on my own team, and I'll do whatever I can to do a placement together with your client or candidate. So 
if you're struggling to get your own clients or candidates and you want a way you can make sure you can be busy all year round by having access to many more open roles, then this is something you need to look into. This is open to people around the world and is open for recruiters in every industry and experience levels as we will always have a good number of variety of open jobs across sectors, markets, and industries. I'm really happy to say that within the first 30 days, we have already have a new member with minimal recruiting experience do his first placement that had a total fee of almost 30,000 US dollars and we are working hard to do many, many more this year. If you are interested and excited, there are only a limited number of spots open, so make sure you sign up quick at patreon.com slash recruiter Preston. If you have any questions, please reach out to me on LinkedIn, Instagram, or Discord. We can set up a time to chat. See you on the other side. So what are the different types of job scams? Number one is emailing fake job offers. So what does that mean? Scammers will essentially send emails pretending to be recruiters or HR or the hiring manager or the founder offering you a job that seems too good to be true. They often ask for personal information up front like social security, driver's license numbers, or even your bank account details, which should give anyone a pause. But for me to say this, I have to say it and clarify it one more time. If you're ever asked these things up front, you should probably stop, pause, and run for the hills. The second thing is a fake jobs on social media. Scammers like to use social media platforms platforms like Facebook and Twitter, LinkedIn to advertise fake job opportunities. They may contact you directly or share links to job postings that promise high pay for minimal work. There's job scams on popular and verified job sites. Even repeatable job search sites like Indeed and Monster Career Builder can also host fake job ads. Scammers love to take advantage of these platforms to reach a large audience. There's also a job placement service scam. Scammers impersonate job placement services or recruiters and promise guaranteed employment for a fee. Legitimate placement services are typically paid by employers or recruiters not by job seekers. What I do is I specifically work with companies that pay us to help them find and scale their team. If I'm working with you and you're a job seeker, I will never ask you for a single penny for our service. If companies are trying to impersonate services like ours and are asking you for money up front and you are a job seeker, that is a massive red flag. There's also what we call work from home scams. With the rise of remote work, scammers target individuals looking for work from home opportunities. So common work from home scams include some of the following. Envelope stuffing, which basically means where you pay a sign-up fee to do this simple job from home. Product assembly, where you buy the materials from a company to make products for them, but they always find problems and they don't actually pay you. Data entry scams, where while there are legit entry-level jobs out there, these will make you pay upfront for registration or arbitrary training fees, so be careful. There's reselling merchandise for which you have to buy products for the company in advance, and then you're left to recoup your money if you can. There's also rebate processing, a job that promises high income for processing rebates from home for or not a refundable trading fee, but actually involves placing ads online and getting a small commission every time a product gets sold. There's also what we call reshipping, which consists of receiving, repackaging, and reshipping products at home, but you never get a paycheck in return. Some additional red flags to watch out for. Number one, unrealistic job offers. So if the job offer seems too good to be true in terms of salary and benefits or job responsibilities, it's a potential red flag. I know we all want to make more money, but let's be real. If you only have about a year of experience, the job's willing to pay you $500,000, most likely that's too good to be true, right? Fake recruiters may promise high salaries or quick promotions without proper evaluations. There's high pressure tactics. Fake recruiters often use high pressure tactics to rush you into making decisions. They may push job seekers to accept an offer quickly without giving them time to research or think about it. Lack of verification. Genuine recruiters will verify your skills and assessments, do reference checks or background checks. If a recruiter doesn't seem interested in validating your credentials at all, it could possibly be a warning sign. Incomplete information. Fake recruiters may not provide detailed information about the job, company, or hiring process. Instead, they may be vague about job responsibilities, company background, or even the recruitment timeline. There's a request for payment. Legitimate recruiters and employers will never ask job seekers or you payment in exchange for a job offer or recruitment services. If a recruiter asks for money up front or promises a job in exchange for payment, it's likely a scam. There's also a generic job description. Fake recruiters often use generic job descriptions or titles that don't match a job seeker's skills or experiences. They may send mass emails or messages without personalizing the content to a job seeker's profile. Poor communication or professionalism. If the recruiter's communication is unprofessional with spelling errors, grammatical mistakes, inconsistent contact information, it could raise suspicion. Unsolicited contact. Be cautious if you receive job offers or recruitment messages from recruiters or companies you haven't applied to or interacted with previously. It's common for fake recruiters to reach out to job seekers 
randomly. No online presence or reviews. Legitimate recruiting agencies and companies usually have an online presence with reviews, testimonials, professional website, LinkedIn profiles, etc. If you can't find any information about the recruiter or their agency online, make sure you be careful. So if you're a job seeker right now, and you're like, oh my God, this resonates. I just went through something like this, or I'm going through something like this. What are some tips for job seekers? Number one, do the research on the company or the recruiter. Before applying for a job or engaging with the recruiter, do thorough research in the recruiters, the background, look at the LinkedIn page, go to the website, visit the company's website, read reviews, verify contact information, verify job postings, double check the job postings by visiting the company's official website. If the job is not listed there or if it's not found on other reputable job search websites, it could be a red flag indicating a fake job posting. Typically, if you see a posting on LinkedIn, it could be on Indeed as well or a monster career builder. But if you only find a job posting that's only on one site, you can't find any else and it's filled with a lot of other red flags we talked about, could be trouble. Check email addresses. Verify the email address used by recruiters. Scammers often use fake email addresses, so check if the email domain matches the company's domain. Be cautious if they use generic email services like Gmail or Yahoo. Avoid interview red flags. So during the interviews, watch out for red flags such as interviewers needing to learn more about the job or the company. Be aware of unprofessional communication, including bad grammar or spelling errors in email. Insist on a formal interview process that includes face-to-face -face or virtual interactions. Be cautious that the recruiter insists on a text-based interview without valid reason. And most importantly, trust your instincts. If something feels off or too good to be true, unfortunately, trust your gut and instincts and proceed cautiously. Report any suspicious job offers or recruiters to the relevant platforms. So what are some tips for recruiters? Recruiters, HR professionals can also take several steps to distinguish themselves as a legitimate recruiter. Number one, use established job sites, right? Legitimate recruiters should leverage well-known and reputable job platforms like Monster, Indeed, LinkedIn, etc. There are some scammers who avoid these established sites as they are more likely to be monitored and flagged, reducing their return on investment. However, there are also scammers who still target these platforms because they can reach a larger audience, so be careful. By directing job seekers to postings on recognized job sites or company websites, recruiters can provide a greater sense of security to applicants. Do not collect sensitive information prematurely, obviously. Professionals, HR professionals, recruiting professionals should refrain from soliciting sensitive personal information from job seekers until it is absolutely necessary. This information is typically requested after an offer has been extended and accepted. Requesting sense information like these upfront will certainly raise red flags for applicants. Legitimate companies follow standard hiring procedures and only request such information when a formal agreement or contract is in place. Prioritize in-person interviews when feasible. While virtual interviews have become more common wherever possible, HR professionals really should aim for in-person interviews. In-person interactions provide both applicants and companies with additional layers of security. Applicants can physically visit the company's office, meet with employees, and gain a better sense of the company's legitimacy. Recruiters can also assess applicants more thoroughly via face-to-face -face interviews, reducing the risk of fraudulent applicants using deep fake media or other deceptive tactics during virtual interviews. And most importantly, maintain a professional online presence. As much as you love to look up the backgrounds of the job seekers, the job seekers love to do the same with you too. It's important to be verified, credible, and professional. So here's an example of, of a scam that just happened recently. There are employment scams essentially targeting desperate job seekers in China. The situation described in this case study showcases how job seekers are lured into paying high fees range from thousands to hundreds of thousands of yuan in exchange for promised employment opportunities. The fraudulent scammers will then operate on social media platforms and recruitment sites, posting as legitimate employment consulting companies. They entice job seekers with false promises of well-paid jobs, stability, housing subsidies, and minimal work, fortunately exploring the high unemployment rates and economic struggles within the country. So this case basically underscores the importance of heightened awareness among job seekers regarding online scams and the necessity of legal enforcement to combat fraudulent activity. The biggest takeaway from this essentially emphasize the need for vigilance again and caution when dealing with job offers, especially those that require upfront payment or make unrealistic promises. It also highlights the role of legal enforcement in protecting job seekers from exploitation. Another example is an employment scam impersonating recruitment agencies. This example illustrates a prevalent example of employment scams where fraudsters impersonate genuine recruitment agencies, leading to significant repercussions for both the job seekers and affected businesses. Scammers are exploiting reputable recruitment companies like 2i Recruit, Known Recruitment, and H. HR heads by posing as them and deceiving job seekers. Tactics include posting fake job vacancies online, send messages via platforms like WhatsApp, and crafting convincing job ads to lure victims. The victims of these scams have shared their experiences such as being contacted for fake interviews, asking for personal documents, and even having money stolen after providing card details to fraudsters. 2i Recruit is located in the United Kingdom. The scammers basically impersonated 2i Recruit by posting fake job ads on repeatable websites like Indeed, and job seekers who responded were asked to provide personal details such 
such as passports and bank informations, thinking that they were applying for legitimate positions. At Nolan, this was also in the UK, scammers used Nolan's name to contact job seekers, offering fake job opportunities. This went on for about 18 months, causing a significant influx of calls from concerned individuals who were misled by scammers. And then there's another place called HR Heads, also in the United Kingdom. Scammers target HR Heads by using the name of a former employee to contact candidates. They posed as representatives of the company and requested personal information, such as national insurance and passport details from job seekers. So what are these impact on businesses? Well, number one, damage reputation. Scammers using the names of these reputable recruitment agencies tarnish their reputation. Job seekers who fall victim to these scams may associate negative experience with a legitimate company, leading to distrust and damage reputation in the industry. Negative reviews from victims or concerned individuals who are targeted by scammers can further harm the reputation of these agencies. These reviews may appear online and influence potential clients or candidates researching these companies. There's a loss of trust. Job seekers who encounter fake job scams impersonating legitimate agencies may lose trust in the recruitment industry as a whole. They may become more cautious or skeptical when dealing with recruiters. On the staffing side, it's impacting genuine agency abilities to attract and retain clients and candidates. Increased workload. Dealing with the aftermath of these scams, including addressing concerns from victims, managing negative feedback or reviews, and raising awareness about the scams can lead to an increased workload for the affected companies. HR departments or customer support teams may need to dedicate time and resources to handle inquiries, investigations, and communications related to these scams. Legal and compliance concerns. Impersonation and identity theft by scammers can raise legal and compliance issues for legitimate recruitment agencies. They may need to take legal actions against the scammers, work with authorities to investigate the incidents and ensure they comply with data protection and privacy regulations when dealing with affected individuals' information. Platforms like Indeed.com and organizations like Recruitment and Employment Confederation, REC, are actively taking measures to combat scams while authorities provide awareness campaigns to support fraud victims. Reporting and prevention. Job seekers and recruiters should report any suspicious activity to relevant authorities and provide resources for secure and repeatable job search sites. If you believe that you've been scammed of a job offer or in any way relevant, here are some steps that you can take. Number one, stop any payments. If you haven't made any payments, do not proceed with any transactions. If you have already made a payment, contact your financial institution immediately to report the fraud and try to reverse the transaction if possible. Number two, report to the job board. If you encounter a scam through a job board or online platform, report the fraudulent job posting to the website support team or customer service, providing them with as much details as possible about the scam. Number three, contact the Federal Trade Commission, also known as the FTC. Report the scam to the FTC, either through their website or by calling their toll-free number. The FTC investigates and takes action against fraudulent practices, including job scams. Number four, protect your identity. If the scammers obtain sensitive information like your social security number or passwords, visit identitytheft.gov for guidance on what steps to take. Consider freezing your credit reports to prevent further misuse of your information. Number five, change passwords. Immediately change the passwords for your email, banking accounts, and other online accounts that may have been compromised. Use strong, unique passwords for each account to enhance security. Number six, monitor your accounts. Keep a close eye on your bank statements, credit reports, and any other financial accounts for suspicious activities. Report any unauthorized transactions or signs of theft to their respective institutions. Lastly, educate yourself. Learn about common job scams and red flags to avoid falling victim to similar schemes in the future. Be cautious when dealing with job offers that seem too good to be true or involve personal information or payment requests. Now, having said this, I want to turn around and ask you, have you encountered or know of anyone who encountered any job scams targeting your company or cans this year? What strategies have you implemented to distinguish yourself from scam artists and protect both you, candidates, and your reputation? We'd we'll love to hear from you, sure, down below. If you like this video and want to see more like it, feel free to give us a like, subscribe, that bell would really mean a lot. Thanks again, and we'll see you on the next one.